Yeah. 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 What up, world? It's your boy Jeff, aka Cool Boy Jeff, right here. This is the only place you can find a way is the way you're here for. I got my big brother, you know what I'm saying? OG from VU, you know what I'm saying? Got his joint mass communications. Big homie right here, got a whole lot of stuff in school, you know what I'm saying? You can introduce to him, you know? What's up, man? It's your boy QQ, man. Gene Union, you know, I'm back, man. I'm here with the Wave 804. And hey, man, we're about to have a dope interview. Shout out to everybody from RVA, 757, all the VA, man. It's the Wave 804. Already. So, Big Dog, I want to go ahead and get into you, you know what I'm saying? I see you doing a whole lot of work, you know what I'm saying? That you uh, created your own business. Yeah. And uh, you can go ahead and let me know what that, all that about. The ABIE firm, it stands for uh, Achieving is Believing, Innovation causes Elevation. It just pretty much means that. You know, anything that you want to achieve in life, you got to wholeheartedly believe it. You know, you got to like, you got to see it. You got to see it before you can tangibly touch it. You know what I'm saying? You, like, that's how it really got to be for you. So achieving is believing. You got to believe before you achieve anything. And then, you know, innovation causes elevation. You know, as black people, you know, not even as black people, just as people, period. You know, people always talk about they want to elevate. They want to come up, go to the next level, but they're not willing to change themselves. So in order to elevate, you must innovate. So innovation causes elevation. And it's just simple, you know, if you use that ABIE, that sm small formula every day on your daily life, you know, you figure out small things to change within yourself, or you just figure out, you know, what can I do better tomorrow, or, you know, what, what, what is something more I can achieve more, I can believe a little bit more on something, can I innovate something a little bit more, can I elevate something a little bit more, you know, you know, just because something isn't broken, it can always be innovated, you know what I'm saying, like, it works perfectly fine. But, you know, if we just tweak it a little bit, it can work a little bit better for me and you or somebody else, you know what I'm saying? So that's kind of just the philosophy behind it. You know, always, anything you want to believe, you got to wholeheartedly, like, really, like, see it. You got to be able to touch it, you know what I'm saying? So that's just ABIE, man. I'm living it. All right, man. That's, man, that's a dope, uh, dope mindset to use. So what do you feel like, feel like about your company that helps others and uh, what is the purpose behind it? Um, so... So the ABIE firm is a creative marketing and brand development public relations company, you know what I'm saying? So I, I work with a lot of athletes, small businesses, um, smaller brands that may not have been started yet, you know, uh, startup companies, tech companies, things like that. And pretty much, you know, I offer like brand development. I teach them small things. If you have a small business, I teach them small things on, you know, how to develop their business or how to take their business to the next level. You know, some companies don't even have things like an LLC, a trademark, and those are the building blocks. You know, you got to start the right way. So I, I pretty much give them like entire formula to start their business. And then for people who have like pre-existing brands, I have a brand development part of my um, company where, you know, we come in with somebody's brand, we evaluate them, we give them consultation, and then we teach them tips to, uh, to basically take elevate their brand, innovate and change, change to take it to the next level. And then, you know, um, you know, just coming from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, you know what I'm saying? Um, I've been able to, I've been fortunate just to travel. You know, I've been to Richmond, Virginia, I've been in Seattle, um, living in the A, you know, I've been to several different places, you know what I'm saying? I've seen so much, so I've been able to soak knowledge and soak knowledge. So one thing with ABIE firm is, one thing we truly believe in is reach one, teach one. You know, if you're able to get out and, you know, see other people and, you know, take knowledge, somebody's able to teach you something, you should, I believe you should always go home and teach it to somebody else who may not have the opportunity to, you know, get out there and get it. You know, people don't have the opportunity to travel and go to places that I've been and meet the people that I've met. So all I can do for them you know, they, they, they technically live vicariously through me, you know, I'm, just, I'm bringing that back. You know, they may they may not feel like they can never touch that or they can never get to that level, but I've been on that level, I've touched it, so I bring it back to them and show them it's real and you can touch it and you can't get there. So it's just, for me, ABIE is just, you know, it's, it's a motivational thing for me. It's just, I'm, I'm really out here just to, to, to break the mold and really show people, you know, hey, if they, if they don't think you can do it, we can do it. I'm about to show you we can do it. I'm about to show you how we can do it together. So pretty much how I'm working. That's what's up. So I see a whole lot of uh, positivity, uh, things that you do, trying to embrace people and also to uh, try to help them get as much so as what they can. What's up, bro? How you? Good. Uh, trying to make sure that you can um, uh, motivate them so they can create their own space. But what is something that you really had to focus on, at least try to uh, make of yourself? Even though that you created something, how hard was it trying to make sure it stayed afloat? Uh, Really what it, what it was was just growing in time and really finding my mold and understanding that everything comes with timing. You know, just because somebody else is, I'm, I'm 23, just because somebody else is 23 and they have something, doesn't mean that I have to have what they have at 23, you know. Um, I think the biggest thing that I learned is trusting in your process. You know, everybody's process is not the same, you know, like, you know, there's some people who are born millionaires and there's some people who are born poor and maybe may forever be poor. The people that, you know, born poor and then they got rich overnight. You know, everybody, you know, everybody has their own thing. So the importance is to find your niche find out you know what's your true calling in life and like go hard at that like give it give that your all because as long as you give that your all you can never fail if it's truly what you're supposed to be doing if this is truly your calling 
you're not gonna fail at it because this is truly what you're supposed to be doing. It's it's, it's in the universe already, and all you're doing is getting in, in in line with the universe and just going as everybody else is going throughout their way. You know that, and I think that's the biggest thing. You know, becoming in tune with yourself and then being in tune with the universe and then just being in tune with all the people around you. So I feel like um, trusting in your process is the big biggest thing. You know, don't rush anything. You know, and um, always understand that anything that you're going through is it. it how you say this? I mean, you play it, you know? Yeah. No night lies love, you feel me? Yeah. And that's the same thing. I think that's the, the biggest testimony I have is that the sun goes up every day and the sun goes down. Right. So no matter how long something's going or how bad it may be, I know it's going to come to an end soon because the day comes to an end. Don't the, th the, the, the thing that we live every day, which is the day, the sun, we see this, it comes to an end. All right. of it comes to an end. So if you think about it like that, Think about that and apply it to your life. Your, the bad things are going to come to an end. The good things are going to come to an end. And you know, when they come to an end, what do you have left? You have, you know, your, le your lessons, you know, and you just have experiences and you, you take from that. So don't never look at it, whether it's good or bad, don't ever look at it like, oh man, I wasted my time. Oh man, um, that sucked, bro. You know, take everything with a grain of salt and try to pull the advantage in every disadvantage. You know, there's a positive in every negative. You just gotta find it. Some of us don't go through the effort to find that. So I think it's just trusting your process and understanding that Rome wasn't built in the day. And you know, just believe in yourself. And if it's your true calling, it'll be for you. That's respect. And then I like how you just used the analogy of Rome wasn't built in the day. Oh yeah. So what? what so what? So what are some things that you can uh, tell people who, who are trying to start a business or trying to start something for themselves? But they don't have the, uh, some people look at uh, millionaires and billionaires and thinking like, oh, you know, I just want to get where they at. But some people don't want to take the steps to what they have took it. So what is something like, you know, you can give to somebody that who's on their business, who's on their hustle, but sometimes they always quick to give up instead of just always sticking to the process. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody believes in the product, but no, nobody believes in the process. Yeah. So what's something that you can help to that person so they make sure like they can succeed? Um, if you're a dream seeker, write your. I, I don't believe. I don't believe it's truly your dream if you don't work on it every day. You know, people are like this is my dream. This is what I want to do. But they sleeping, or they out partying. They are, they giving so much energy and attention to the things that they that aren't even close to their dream or things that they that they want to attain. You know, people are like, oh, I want to be a millionaire, but they don't want millionaire problems, or they don't want to take the steps to become a millionaire. You know what I'm saying? They be like, oh, I want. A, big job at a Fortune 500 company as a CEO, but they don't want to go fill out 50, 50 applications and go through 30 interviews and take 25 no's, and that's what it takes to be a CEO. So I think um, first things first is understanding the process. Um, there's no shortcuts in life, period. You know, there's no shortcuts. Even if you take a shortcut and you make it to the other side, on the, on the way to your next journey, it's gonna be a little bit longer because you know, that's just how the universe works. If you think you're getting over and it comes back you know, to you sooner or later. So I think the biggest thing is, like I said, don't rush the process. If it's truly your dream, you gotta write it down. You know, people are like, oh, I got these dreams. I got these things I wanna do, but they have yet to put it on something. Put it on something, submit it down, you know? Take it as a thought and make it a reality. Once you write it down, it's a reality. Put it on something. Bring it to life. It is now to life if you put it on to something. So I think that's the biggest thing, writing it down, trusting the process, understanding that when you're going to do something, do two things. One, figure out your way of doing it, and then figure out how everybody else did it. And you bring those two together. You know what I'm saying? Like, people be like, oh, I want to be a lawyer. I tell people all the time, well, go look up your five favorite lawyers, and I want you to figure out what school they went to, you know, what classes they took, you know, what internships they did. And, you know, kind of model your, your path on that, you know? Like, hey, these people can get here. If I do some of the similar things, I can get here too. But, you know, it, it's research. You know, a lot of people don't want to do research. They just expect it. You know, go to college, you graduate, and... I got a degree, yeah, give me a job. Yeah, it, comes to you. it doesn't work like that. It's right. the same way you graduated, you walk the stage, millions and millions, billions of other people did that too. So, you know, you really got to find what separates you from the pack. Separate yourself from the pack. I think that's it. Separate yourself from the pack. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever it is that you do and you do good, hone in on that and do it better than anybody else. You know what I'm saying? Because I think that's the biggest thing with people. When, when people find somebody close to them or find somebody that they can touch that, Nobody else can do what that person does. They give that person more attention. They, they want to invest in that person. They, they want to, they see something in that person. So I think the biggest thing for me is make sure your cup is full enough where people want to come to you because they're like, okay, he's filled his cup up enough. Now let me top his cup off. You know what I'm saying? I think that's the biggest thing for me. You know, have, bring something to the table. You don't have to always be 100% complete. You might be trying your whole life when you only get to 85%. 
and somebody giving you a college scholarship or investing in you or you know listening to your idea or your elevator speech or your plan or giving you that job is that extra 25 percent or 15 percent you need but you know you, you, i believe you can't pour into other people until your cup runneth over you know what i'm saying like it's not being selfish it's about being self full you know you got how am i gonna give to you and i'm incomplete i'm giving you incomplete i must be full and give you the excess so that you may start to feel so i think that Worry about filling your cup up first, you know, you know, then worry about filling everybody else's cup up. And it's not afraid, you know, it ain't nothing bad to share, but, you know, if you want to be able to give to people and give them in a complete way, you have to take time to go through that process and figure out how to give completely. And I think giving completely is really figuring out what, it, what it's like to have nothing. So when you have nothing, you appreciate everything. Right. You know, you know what, and, and for, for me, for me coming up in like me being a mass combination and broadcast journalism, like it's a lot of things that I've seen that you've done that, that really made me think about how I can be a better person. But at the same time, I'm not, I, but I'm not too, uh, I'm not hesitant to pick up the phone and call and ask for answers. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I feel like now in this generation, we don't have enough uh, big brothers and leaders who yeah. can show us and school us. Like it's not about always you trying to get ahead of somebody, yeah. but maybe it's something that you can teach me that they can put me in the same pedestal as you. Yeah. Because at the same time, we all. We all men, but we all trying to make something and we try to create something for other people. Straight so what up. is something that you can say as for to classify yourself for one word? Yeah. What would it be? Uh, one word? Mm -hmm. uh, well, yeah. I gotta think. Um, I would say, honestly, um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, de I'm, de I'm determined. Yeah. I'm determined by any means determined honestly uh, it's a lot of words i can say but i think at the end of the day it's determination because no matter what situation i'm faith I'm, I'm, I'm faced with I'm, I'm just determined to finish i'm gonna make it through whether it's homework and i don't know nothing about this homework i'm determined to finish it if it's a football field and I'm, I'm working out i'm determined to do that if it's a, a deadline i gotta meet paper i gotta write something i'm determined to do it so i think determination just a will will i would say will my will my will is very strong so i think those, those, I can't say one one word just wholeheartedly, but I would really say determination and will. You know what I'm saying? Just, just be. If there's a will, it's a way. You gotta have will. You know, you just gotta really believe deep down inside. When it, when it's dark and you can't see anything, I think that's when you should really use your imagination. You know what I'm saying? When it's dark and you can't see nothing and days are bad, I think that's the time when you close your eyes and use your imagination and start to picture things as how they can be. If only you take that one one step, just slow down, take a deep breath. And, really understand the situation and you know the situation is going like this a lot of times we're not even moving we just a lot of times we stuck and everything around us just and it, it looks like it's moving fast though but all we got to do is just stop and look around and realize that we're not even moving this is everything around us and then we move within those barriers and that's how you figure out how to move on different different levels of the universe and different parts of energy and stuff like that so i think that's the biggest thing that's what's up so what so what are some things that um what is something that you could say or see yourself in the next five years doing? Like, you could, like your, your company being bigger, yeah. the brand being exposed to more opportunities. Yeah. Uh, well, five years, I uh, plan on having the largest creative marketing, um, brand development, public relations agency on the East Coast. You know what I'm saying? I, I plan on five years, I want to have both of my offices in Fort Lauderdale and Atlanta, and I'd, of course, be expanded to the West Coast. So. Five years, I'd like to see that there. Um, five years, I'd like to see my uh, backpack drive, you know, tripling, quadrupling, whatever the number is after that. Backpack drive, um, I want to do, I want to be able to hire, you know, whatever. If I have 10 interns this year, I want to have 20 next year, 30 the year after that, 40 the year after that, 50 the year after that. I just want constant growth. So, um, five years, I just time this. I, I want to see myself five times more than where I am now. You know? So, shoot, I want to. Six, I want to be where I mean, I just want to be somewhere different than I am now, you know. I don't want to be stagnant, period. That's that, that's where I see myself in five years. I see myself, my company being, like I said, the number one creative marketing and brand development agency on the east coast. Um, I see me expanding to other cities, other states, and um, having a bigger team under me, you know what I'm saying, and, and doing doing less of the work within my firm and doing more instruction and more teaching, you know what I'm saying. I really want to, um, five years, I want to I have years. That's what's up. Yeah. Just I so they can call me Dr. Morgan. <laughs> I can definitely follow that. So, is there any shout outs that you want to give or anything you want to say to anybody? You know um, what I'm saying? I know, I know you have some inspiration because I follow a lot of your stuff, man. You give us some good energy. Oh, man. You give us great energy. inspiration, man. Man, shout out to everybody from Richmond, Virginia, man. Hey, everybody from Richmond. And 
Virginia, Untouchable Empire, both of my brothers, Chris, man, I love y'all. Uh, Diddy Wilson, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's a lot of people, I, I could go on. Jeff, my dude, Jeff. Um, everybody in the 804, man, if you ever had anything to do with any type of success and you ever helped me, I just want to shout you out. I want to tell you I love you and I appreciate you. Uh, DJ Fela, shout out to my boy Stacy P, Nick Versus, Parachute Records, uh, Big Goops, man. Um, it, 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 this goes on. Hey man, it's your boy QDQ, man. Wrapping it up with the Wave 804. I'd like to shout out a few folks, man. Shout out to everybody from Brock County, Florida, a lot of them, man. El Zuck 954. Shout out to everybody from Richmond, Virginia, the 804. Man, shout out to all my dogs, man. Untouchable Empire, both of the Chris's. I love y'all, brother. Shout out to Dog Pound Protection Agency, Poncho in the building. You know, all young entrepreneurs. Shout out to the whole Parachute Records, Diddy Wilson, Nick Versus, Big Goose, RJ Barnes, Pilot Talk. Shout out to Stacy P, DJ Faylock, hey the whole 804. Shout out to my little brother down there at State, little J, J the Kid. Hey man, shout out to all my Richmond homies. Shout out to the Bruz, Z Squad, Spring 14, um, the entire Omega Sci Fi. Man, shout out to the whole Virginia University, man. Shout out to my brother, Cool Boy Jeff. Appreciate you coming to me for this interview, man. It's all the right, Wave 804. Dude. You already know it's the exclusive. One take. You're late. <laughs> That's just the way.